The President's Distinguished Community Leadership Award recognizes extraordinary people who've made a positive difference to our community. In this, Simon Fraser University's 50th anniversary year, it's hard to imagine people more worthy of this recognition than Francis and Samuel Bellsberg, true philanthropic leaders who supported numerous causes. The Bellsbergs have created an extraordinary legacy built by their long-standing dedication and commitments and their generosity of time, resources, and spirit. Together and individually, Fran and Sam have given much of themselves and have had a profound and lasting impact upon our community. Sam has been a leader in business and he's been a leader in charity and giving back to communities. Sam is an infectious man. He knows everybody. He's fun. And even at his age, he's still dynamic. He's traveling the world. I get tired just thinking of where he's going. To me, they were icons of the community. And Frances is and was the most magnificent woman I've ever seen. She took a leading role in our community, being the Jewish community in Vancouver. She became my mentor, at least, somebody I looked up to, and is still an icon. Without Sam and Francis Bellsberg, there would be no worldwide presence for the Simon Wiesenthal Museum of Tolerance. I would say that Sam and Francis, they follow the same philosophy that Leslie and I do. The more you give, the more you get. Sam and Fran Belsberg have been heavily involved in Action Canada since its inception. In fact, Sam was one of the instigators who really had the commitment and the vision early on to see a network of strong leaders across the country. It's a one-year fellowship, and every year up to 20 emerging leaders are selected from across the country to participate. You work with top Canadian journalists to hone your writing, speaking, media skills. You generally build and develop your teamwork and your leadership skills. And importantly, you contribute to Canadian public policy by participating on a five-person task force. For example, with our recent election, we now have two members of parliament who are past Action Canada alumni and the network is very, very proud of them. So it's not just a program that prepares people for stuff. Things actually happen with this program. We've got almost 200 alumni across the country involved in every sector of leadership that you could ever imagine. Sam and Fran Belsberg are really the definition <laughs> of what leadership is. It's very, very fitting that they're being honored by SFU for their efforts in these areas. And they're just such wonderful people. And you know, despite all of their achievements and despite the incredible work that they've done over the years, Fran always says that her greatest achievement is her grandchildren. And so that very family-oriented approach to leadership, to building a network, to building a family, it's the essence of who they are. Sam and Fran have so much energy because they're keeping careers and families going full blast, and yet they also fill in with the community stuff as well. In Fran's case, that she's a beautiful woman, and is as gorgeous now, I'm sure, as she was when I first met her. Charming, hardworking, committed, involved. These are the characters that provide leadership, and leadership builds communities. Under the chairmanship of Sam Bellsberg, a national fundraising drive called the Bridge to the Future Campaign was undertaken. One of its main goals was to raise money for Harbour Centre. Time was tight. Competition for funds was intense. But the community came through with $8 million because they believed in the project. The development of SFU in those years, of which the capital campaign and Sam's and Fran's involvement, really led to a number of other developments as time went on, but in which those building blocks that we and they together allowed the university to grow as rapidly and even more importantly, as effectively as it has. So people like Sam and Fran, not only helping us raise the money, but also being extraordinarily generous donors to it was absolutely key. So the building blocks that the Bellsberg were involved in, both for the university and for its impact on the community and its reputation nationally and beyond, I think was critical. 
Samuel and Francis Bellsberg founded the Dystonia Medical Research Foundation 40 years ago. Dystonia is a neurological disorder and it mainly emanates from the brain. They've basically provided a great platform for people all across Canada to get together in communities and discuss the support they need and the treatments they need. And out of this has come some innovation and research which we're all benefiting from. The medical community has been made more aware of dystonia and the people who suffer from it. And so when I was diagnosed back 10, 12 years ago, I went into a center and the neurologist immediately pinpointed what my problem was and started treating me for it. And on a global scale, across Canada, people have found benefit through minor treatment all the way to major interventions such as surgery. And that awareness has come out through mainly the Bellsberg's commitment to this disorder. It's a wonderful feeling that you can give back to a community that has been so wonderful to our family and to the Bellsburgs family. The contributions and the support of people like Sam and Fran is really what Action Canada is, is all about. If we don't have community leaders like the Bellsburg, we don't have communities. It's that simple. Sam Francis, congratulations on receiving this wonderful award from a great university. Fran and Sam, on behalf of the Action Canada Alumni Network and Board, we offer you our sincere congratulations. We were thrilled to hear that you're receiving the President's Distinguished Community Leadership Award and it could not be bestowed on two more fitting people. Congratulations. I speak for thousands of people across the country when I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So thank you very much, and I'm so proud of you receiving this prestigious award. This award has had many wonderful recipients, and you deserve it as much as anyone I can possibly think of. So congratulations, all best wishes, and love to both of you. Sam, Francis, congratulations for winning this wonderful award. You certainly deserve it. Mazel tov. Fran and Sam, as longtime friends and supporters of Simon Fraser University, you epitomize SFU's commitments to community engagement and social betterment, even as you've made it possible for us to deliver on them. Your lifelong service and dedication, not only to education, but also to human rights, healthcare, and the arts, is an inspiration to us all. Thank you, and congratulations on this well-deserved honor and the recognition it bestows.